Welcome back, everyone. Well, as you probably know, camping shot up during the pandemic and in West Michigan in the summer, it's one of our best camping spots. Really, we think in all the country well, we may be biased, yeah. but <laughs> I don't know. I think it's great. And and maybe you go in a tent, a sleeping bag, but maybe you have an RV or, or you got one. Yeah, plenty mm -hmm. of people, uh, you know, jumped on that RV train uh, during the pandemic. And a lot of those RV owners are very new to this hobby. So mm -hmm. you don't know what you're doing. That can lead to some big safety issues. Thankfully, we've got Michael McClary with the with us. <laughs> he is going to tell us about things that you need to think about if you're going camping with an RV, things that maybe newbies don't understand because it, I mean, they'll burn very quickly and be a very dangerous place to be. That's right. Welcome to summer. I mean, yeah, we've got right? the hat, we've <laughs> yeah. got the summer glasses, we've got everything, but we may not be thinking safety. So mm -hmm. just like in the home, when we have that RV, the average RV is traveling 4,500 miles every year. So there's a good opportunity for us to talk about safety, making sure we have those working smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms, the fire extinguishers, and also making sure if we're traveling and we have food in that refrigerator, turn the propane off while we're traveling. Mm -hmm. That refrigerator will stay cool, and that way if that vehicle gets into a motor vehicle crash, we're not gonna have an issue with that propane becoming a, a fire hazard. We were talking before you know, the segment, Michael, is this becoming something that um, crews are having to deal with and on the roadway? On the roadway and in the campground. And think mm -hmm. about how close that those RVs, it could be the pop-up style camper, it could be the recreational vehicle, or the very large mobile home. If they catch fire, they're right next to your neighbors. Mm -hmm. And we're not necessarily thinking about fire safety. So escape plans are really important. Making sure we're standing by our pan when we're cooking, broiling, or frying in that kitchen. And many have the same amenities of what we have in homes. Uh, so we need to think about safety all throughout that year. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is there a place that people can go to learn this information? I feel like a dealership's not going to be telling you all of these things. And, you know, you they need to take control of this and, and be responsible. Mm -hmm. So is there a place they can go to learn more? Absolutely. They can go right to our website. The U.S. Fire Administration just came out with some really comprehensive tips. Most common fires occur between 2 and 3 p.m. Most uh, fires occur between the months of May and August, with the peak being July. So we're going right into that vacation time, and Fridays and Saturdays are when we're seeing the majority of those fires. Escapeinc.org, E-S-C-A-P-E-I-N-C.org, all the fire safety information that families can take, digest, and make sure that it's applicable to their situation. You said a buzzword, you said July, so real quickly, Fireworks. Fireworks safety, let the professionals put the show on. If you are using sparklers, making sure we have close supervision, they burn to 1200 degrees, three seconds, third degree burn. Mm. Very dangerous. So we want to make sure that families stay safe, don't end up in the emergency room. Oh gosh, right. right. Yeah, you say just don't even don't even bother with them though. Absolutely. Yeah, or keep a bucket of water nearby as well. Absolutely, and when we're done with those sparklers, make sure we put that sparkler in the bucket of water. If the firework does not uh, activate, make sure that we're allowing enough time because it could still activate and cause finger or hand or even injury or death. So, Oof. yeah, scary stuff. You we bet. don't want that, and the professionals are going to put on great shows Absolutely. all across West Michigan. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, Michael, thank you. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, always a pleasure having you.